Hello YouTubers, I'm Parways and in this video I'm going to talk about some new web frameworks in Python programming language. So if you're a Python developer, you will be familiar with Django and Flask. In this video we are not going to talk about Django and Flask, so these are the most popular web frameworks for Python. In this video we are going to talk about some new web frameworks like FastAPI, Quart, Sanic. And also I'm going to show you the installation process with an example. So the first web framework that we are going to talk is a Starlet. Now Starlet is a lightweight ASGI framework uh, which is ideal for building high performance services. It's production ready and it gives you the following features like uh, seriously impressive performance, WebSocket support, GraphQL support and process background tasks, uh, startup and shutdown events and some more features. Now I'm going to show you the installation process and how you can create your first example a web example in Starlet. Okay, so first of all, you need to uh, install a Starlet. You can simply use pip3 install a Starlet and hit enter. It will be installed. So I have already installed and uh, I don't want to install it again. And if you see the requirement already uh, satisfied. Also, you need to install uvkern. So you can use pip install uvkern at uvkern and it will be uh, installed sorry uv uh, core like this okay hit enter and it will be installed so now let me just show you a simple example of starlet so first i need to import from starlet uh, from starlet dot application okay so from starlet dot application import starlet and from starlet dot responses import json parse json response sorry and also we need to from starlet dot routing import route okay so now let me create a, a sync diff uh, home page request and we are going to just simply return a uh, JSON parse and I'm going to write for example hello world now after this I need to create the route so I'm using just one route and index routes so you can create uh, routes and uh, route and this is the index route and the endpoint is home page that I have created above so now I need to create app starlet and I want to make the back to true and also you need to pass the your route in here so routes routes so now this is uh, the example and let me just now run this in my terminal okay uv curl uh, and my uh, file name is uh, star it is start tuts app so now let me just uh, hit enter <coughs> Now you can see it's running on port 8000 and let me just uh, copy this and uh, paste this in my browser. Now you can see that uh, we have uh, hello world in here. So the another web framework that we are going to talk is called black sheep. So it is an asynchronous web framework to build event-based NAND blocking Python web application and also it's inspired by Flask and also Flask is a popular framework for uh, Python uh, it's inspired by Flask and also ESP.NET Core so now let me show you the installation process and we are going to create a simple example on black sheep so guys first of all you need to install uh, black sheep uh, you can use uh, pep install black sheep and hit enter and it will be installed. Also, uh, we need to install uvcorn. So I have already installed. Uh, if you want, so I have. You can see requirement already 
uh, satisfied. Also, you can use uh, pip install uv uh, curl and it will be installed. Okay, so now we are going to create a simple example from this. So from date time, uh, import date time. And also uh, we need to from black shape dot server we are going to import application also from black shape dot server dot responses we are going to import the text so like this okay after this let me create a uh, application so application object and after this let me create a route so app dot route it is an index route uh, also now let me create a sync diff home request a text request and in here I'm going to just return a simple text okay now in here you can simply write return uh, text <coughs> Uh, f string and let me write uh, hello uh, world and uh, you can write date uh, date time dot utc now dot iso format okay like this So now let me just my run my server and uh, I check this. So uvcurl and uh, my file name is black uh, sh tuts app. Okay, now uh, let me just copy this, or I can go direct one. To it. So now you can see hello world and this is the time and date. The another web framework that we are going to uh, talk about is called Scenic. So Scenic is a web server and also web framework that is written to go fast. And it allows the usage of the async or await uh, syntax added in Python 3.5. Which makes your code non-blocking and also speedy. So now let me show you the installation and also a simple example. So guys, first of all, you need to install Scenic. You can simply write pip3 install Scenic and hit enter and it will be installed. So now let me show you a simple example from Scenic. Uh, import Scenic and from Scenic.response, I'm going to import a JSON. Now let me just create uh, the object of Sonic and now let me create my route so dot route uh, this should be an index route uh, async diff test request and I'm going to just return uh, a simple hello for example hello uh, Python so you can check their documentation they have a lot of features now let me just run my server and app.run you can give the host for example 127.0.0.1 and also you can give the port for example 8000 so now let me just run this Oh, sorry. Uh, let me just. I have. Uh, let me just check it. So now let me just run this. Okay, now you can see how uh, we have in this port. Let me just. Uh, now you can see we have hello Python 
Another way, another web framework that we are going to talk is Fast API. So Fast API is a modern, fast, high-performance web framework for building APIs with Python 3.6 plus, based on standard uh, Python type hints. So there are some features for Fast API like uh, uh, it's uh, very high performance on par with uh, Node.js and Go. And also it increased the speed to develop features by about 200 or 300 percent also reduce about 40 percent of human or developer uh, induced errors so now let me show you the installation process and also a simple example so you can simply pip and install fast api and it will be installed so now let me just uh, create a simple example from uh, fast api uh, I'm going to import fast API now let me just create the object of fast API create the route so app dot uh, gate git and this is my index route also let me create the read uh, root you can just return for example uh, Hello, uh, fast API. Now uh, we are using UV current to run this, and in the terminal you can just simply write UV current and fast TUTS app. Now I am waiting. Okay. So now let me just go to this uh, port. <coughs> you can see Hello Fast API. Another web framework is Clean. So Clean is a micro framework for developing production ready web services with Python. It's micro in that uh, that it has an incred incredibly uh, small API similar to Bottle and Flask. So it has some similarity to Flask and also Bottle. Now let me show you, just show you the installation and also a simple example about, about Clean. So for the installation, you can simply write pip install clean, hit enter, and it will be installed. So now from Clean, import run, and also route, at app so now let me just create my route so at route and this is uh, uh, index route def home and you need to add the request I'm going to just return uh, hello Python so hello Python developers and now let me create run my server let me run my server so uh, run and in here you can write for example uh, your host so it's localhost and the port etet -E you can just run this uh, simply so now I'm waiting okay uh, now let me just uh, refresh my page to ET, ET so the port is ET, ET now you can see hello Python developers so guys the last framework that we are going to talk is called Quart so Quart is a Python ASGI web micro framework it is intended to provide the easiest way to use a sensu functionality in a web context especially with existing of flask apps so this is possible as the Quart API is a superset of the Flask API. So now let me just show you the installation and also a simple example about Quart. So you can simply install Quart by using pip install Quart and hit enter. It will be installed. Now let me just show you a simple example. So you need to from Quart, uh, we are going to import uh, from Quart, import Quart, and also we need to import WebSocket. So, WebSocket. And now let me just create an app. So you can see it's like the syntax is like Flask. So underscore underscore name, 
and after this you need to create a route so app dot route this is index route it uses a sync diff for example hello and you can just return uh, for example hello quart and also we need to create a WebSocket route so WebSocket WS async uh, def WS let me create while through you can just await WebSocket dot send and we are going to uh, send uh, our this uh, hello method and at the end you can just simply uh, app dot run now let me just run this So now you can see running on this uh, local host and port in 5000. So let me just change this to 5000. And here you can see we have received hello quart. So thank you guys. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.